everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a full video review of the New Balance Fresh Home X Vongo version 6. So the Vongo series has always been something that's been a little bit different than other stuff on the market. It's been different because it's got a wedge design. It had a wedge design where the medial side of the shoe was a much firmer density and then it gradually, in a kind of wedge shape, became a little bit less uh, dense. And so that wedge designs are really, really good when it's integrated because it can keep your foot in a little bit more of an inverted position. And some people need that. Some people just need a post or a sidewall or some guidance just to fall into. And then it just, it keeps your foot in the middle where the wedge really kept you out a little bit. So some people need that. It was very, very aggressive. That is completely gone with this shoe. So the new Vongo is a much softer shoe. It is much more neutral. It's a mild stability now where the old one was definitely like moderate stability. So this is a mild stability slash guidance shoe and it's very different. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No, it means it's gonna probably work better for a different group of people. Those who like the last one, just know that it is not the same shoe and you might have to look for something else or you might have to adapt something totally new. So let's talk about what's changed, how things are different and who this may or may not work for. And let's start with specs here. So again, moderate stability, or in my mind, mild stability daily training shoe. Uh, it comes in men's size nine at 10.6 ounces. Women's size eight is coming in at 8.5 ounces. There's a much higher stack height with 38 in the heel, 32 in the forefoot for a six millimeter drop now. Full length Fresh Foam X, a top layer that's softer, a bottom layer that's firmer. And this new film that goes throughout here, that it's an EVA film that kind of feels this almost like a plate design with larger open hexagon holes on the lateral side and then more filled in stuff on the medial side to supposedly guide you a little bit lateral. And one other thing that we'll talk about, but let's go to fit because that's also really different. This shoe fits more snug throughout. It's kind of the classic new balance that's, that's new age where it's like, why, why is this? oddly snug now when New Balance used to fit wide. So people that have normal to wider fit just know that this is gonna feel much more snug. I have very normal width feet. And I was like, oh, this is snug. I can handle it. It's totally fine. It's just a little much more snug. People with narrower feet, you're gonna enjoy this shoe a lot more, okay? Narrower sh shoe throughout, which also meant that in the heel, I didn't get any heel slippage. It has a really nice secure heel. There is a stiffer heel counter back here. So those that are sensitive, be aware there's some padding, but it, it can get a little bit stiff. For the most part, it's just a really nice thicker mesh that kind of hugs you very nicely. So I did really enjoy the upper after I kind of got used to it. Just know it's much more snug than previous, okay? Going on to the sole, that is where things change even more. So the past we talked about, there was a wedge design. That's completely different. That wedge design is still present in the heel where you'll see that the lateral side, the film sits lower than the medial side. So this is much higher. So you get much more of that softer foam on the lateral side and then much more of the firmer stuff on the medial side. So there is still that. And then as you get or into the forefoot, things again, even out. So much more neutral up front. But the foam is a lot softer. At least the, the top layer is definitely softer underfoot. Ride-wise, it does feel heavier, not in a bad way, but definitely like this is a training shoe. I can't go quick in this at all. It is meant for easy miles. The film is very hard to feel until like, it took me about 20 miles to actually start feeling the guidance here. It is there, it's just pretty subtle. When you land, I can feel myself staying a little bit more lateral, but it is not like the really aggressive fit where you're like, oh, I'm inverted, my foot's pointing inwards like the previous version. Much more subtle, much more mild, but it does do its job. I've noticed when I do longer runs in the shoe, which it does well and easier efforts, nothing fast. I don't get that normal fatigue I normally have with neutral shoes. So it is there, it is a guided shoe. It's got some mild stuff in there, but it's not overly aggressive. And people that need a good amount of stability, this may not be enough for you, but people that just need a mild amount, or if you have neutral mechanics and you just want something a teeny bit more guided, this also might be a really good option. I was really surprised Bach really, really liked this shoe and compared it to some other neutral trainers. So please check out our full written review. But again, very, very different. It has a lot more guidance elements. So the sole is much wider throughout. The forefoot is really nicely flip flared. So it does actually feel stable up front, but just for a different reason. But overall, a softer shoe, a narrower shoe, and just not as much higher level stability, not as much of a wedge, more subtle guidance throughout. So people that sit right between neutral and stability and need just kind of stuff in the middle and want a daily trainer that's fairly durable and does a great job, this might be a good option for you. But if you want that higher level stability, this may not be an option for you anymore unless you're willing to take some time to transition into this shoe.